Hello and welcome to another episode of Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV with me, Adam Mani Angora. In this program where we do learn together how to prepare some dishes. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to prepare eba and okra soup. So before we dive into the program, let us go for a short break and we will be right back. Welcome back. To prepare this meal, we are going to need the following ingredients. First, we are going to need gari, which is a dried grated cassava. We are also going to use puree, which is a blended tomatoes, uh, some ginger, garlic, and pepper, and some chilies. And also we are going to need some vegetables like spinach and ugu. We are also going to use a garden egg, salt, seasoning, and what I called four spices. Of course, it is a mixture of cinnamon, cloves, coriander, and rosemary. We are also going to make use of okra itself, which some people call as okra. A red oil, crayfish, and of course, protein, which is going to be a mixture of some lamb, sh uh, lamb shank, uh, some bris uh, brisket bone, and also some beef. So let us get started. Um, first of all, before I make the eba itself, let me begin by preparing the soup while our soup is getting ready then we can move on to prepare the eva so i will first start my fire and then pour some amount of oil it all depends on the quantity that you want to make and then you can decide the amount of oil that you are going to use. So we will allow this oil to be hot. Then I will go ahead and begin to fry my puree. So as you can see, my oil is already on fire. Let me bring closer to me my spring onions, which I actually didn't mention at the beginning but now you are seeing it and also let me place down um, my garden egg and some fresh tomatoes which i didn't put in the blending process so my oil is getting hot and then let me go ahead and cut the spring onions which i am going to use a bit later So as my oil is getting hot right now, I am going to add the blended puree and then allow it to fry for some time. So this is a kind of uh, similar process uh, with which you use while making a stew. So in a way, you can call it like um, making a sort of stew, you know, before um, adding the um, rest of the ingredients and make it okra soup. So while I am 
uh, getting this fried i'll now go ahead and add my seasoning some salt and also some spices and then allow it to continue to fry for some time and now i will get my garden egg chop So with this being put in place, let us go to the next step, which is of course, to get my okra uh, grated. You know, um, okra soup is a kind of soup that traditionally is supposed to be uh, slimy no so uh, some people will use blender <clears throat> um, to get it blended some they will just cut it like this some they use um, mortar and pound it but then i found it more effective when you use grater and grate it it gives a much better result At this very time, you see my crayfish will now be added to the mortar and I will give it a little bit of pounding before I add it inside of the um, stew. Yes, it's now good to go. I'll now pour it there. And then my spring onions is now added alongside some chopped tomatoes.
so you can see that the stew is getting fried and it's looking um, much reddish in color because of the red oil that we put and this is one of the best way to uh, make sure that your soup remains uh, slimy remains sticky you know as opposed to using um, white oil So at this moment, I will go ahead and um, add my meat. Remember, as I mentioned it during the introductory part of the episode, this is actually beef, some uh, chopped lamb shank, you know, some steak, uh, some flank, and also. Uh, brisket uh, bones and now I'm adding them all into the stew as it gets fried so you know the water from the boiled meat will be transferred here and we'll keep it for later use and then i'll pour some here and also i now have left some amount of water inside of the pot but not much water but before then let me go ahead and first of all give a stir to my stew and then I will now get it covered. Um, remember before, you know, I took it off the much lower heat burner to the high heat one. So I will now bring it back here and give it a medium heat so that it can continue to cook slowly. Okay. And then with this small uh, burner, I will put my small pot there and add my okra here. See, uh, let me use the wooden spatula. And also add the water because I can see that the quantity of the water I uh, left in the pot is not much enough. So what I'll do is now, I give it a heat. You can give it from medium to low heat. This is something that you don't want to cook well done. No, you give it medium to low heat um, so that it cooks slowly <clears throat> and then it uh, maintains that sticky nature of okra so we'll give it some time there and I'll bring close to me the essential ingredient in making eva that is gari okay so um, I will now begin to get ready for making my eva which i will use this pot here you know to make it but before i proceed in doing that let us go for a quick break and we will be right back welcome back in case you are just joining the program you are watching Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV, where we are making eba and okra soup. So, as we are now back, let's check how is our okra doing. So you can see that it has made a lot of 
progress and something really really important to take note of is that depending on the uh, level of fire that you put some people would prefer to leave their pot open while they cook the okra some would cover it but with a little opening so that the okra um, still be sticky uh, and it draws you know uh, so for us because the level of it is really really low that's why i did cover it but at some point i did open it like what you are seeing right now see it's already open and you can see it has made a lot of, uh, of uh, progress you know and with this i can go ahead and turn off my fire and then the next thing that i'm going to do is to start the fire with which i am going to boil some water for making my eba and depending on the um amount of eba that you want to make that determines the quantity of the water that you put and something really important is that no matter how small or um water you put you know eba is something that at any point in time no matter how much water or how little water you put you know when making it you can always choose to add water or gari so if it's it looks watery it means you have the opportunity to just add gari and make it as thick as you want if it looks really thick then you can as well add some water as much as you want to make it um consistent you know with your desire so our water is right here and we will allow it to boil and then let me come this way and see how far my stew is going so the stew is looking fantastically good and then i will now go ahead and add some ugu in it now this ugu you know i already did cut it and then put it inside of freezer so it's a frozen ugu that's why it's looking a bit dark um, and then after giving it a hit for some time then i'll go ahead and add my uh, spinach you know spinach cooks faster than fugu this is why i don't want to add them together at the same time so i will do this and also my garden egg i am adding it right now so let's give it time to get cooked so you can see that my water is getting ready you no know, it has started reaching the boiling point so i will grab my gari and bring it closed bring it up close to me and also grab my stirrer and be ready you know for the big deal uh, okay uh, remember I, I said this water is going to be reserved for later use and i think now it is the right moment that i use this reserved water remember it is the water that i saved from my boiled meat it's not just fresh water that i added very good you can see now the water is getting boiled here we have another thing uh, to explain 
you know while making eba some people would prefer to get the water boiled and then transfer it in a different bowl and then begin to add the curry and stir it some may choose to do in the way that i am just going to use so for some reasons i would prefer using this way to add my gari inside of the pot while the water is getting boiled because sometimes you don't know the person that you purchased the gari from you know you don't know how properly it was made you know yeah so for health issue you know for safety you know uh i prefer this way you know in case of anything so the you know heat of the boiling water will now get it killed so i will now uh, continue to sprinkle the gari while stirring it uh, you know 300 degrees you know, slowly you know looking at the quantity of the water inside of the pot then you will have now control as to how much gari you need to put inside of the pot so with this i'll now leave it this way and continue to you know mix my gari you can always wish to add water as needed and also you can always wish to add the gari as needed and then i will now put my fire off and then come here and also add my spinach and then give it a stir so at this very point i will now go ahead and add my okra and then we'll maintain much low level of heat so you can see that the objective of making this soup uh, slimy is being met see it's looking sticky see how it draws and that is the best way you know to eat your eba with okra soup i will now give it about three to five minutes and then we'll come back and serve the dish so at this point i guess we will go for another break and we will be right back welcome back and in case you are just joining us you have really missed a lot but I'm sure you'll be able to catch up whether on um, uh, Trust TV channel 164 Star Times, where the program is being broadcasted every Saturday evening at 5 p.m. And also on social media platforms such as YouTube, YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. You can watch this program live and also on YouTube uh, channel of Trust TV. So here we are now it's time to serve our dish 
and depending on how you want to serve it you know usually people would uh, prefer a kind of better presentation so for presentation's sake i brought this uh, glass and then i add a little amount of water in it and then i will now uh, put my eba inside of it no like this like this and then push it harder no keep putting you know to the quantity that this small ball will actually contain and after this you know now i push it push it push it really well push it push it and then i bring my glass you no know, and turn it over and then see how we can get it off you know yes here we are and also you know some people would like it you know when they add the soup by the side of the eba whereas some would prefer to serve it you know separate uh so you know in this case we now have chosen to serve it um serve it separate but also i think it will make a lot of sense if i add some stew you know by the side of the thing anyways uh since we already added the uh, soup in the bowl maybe i can you know forget about that so here we are you know yes and is actually ready for consumption so this is it about this episode but i guess uh, looking at this dish i can't resist you know and therefore let me give it a bite you know i give it a bite you know a bite is much better when you eat with your hand instead of using spoon or something so you can see let me grab some meat and feel you know the magic hmm. this is a heaven on earth wow hmm 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 It's really delicious, absolutely appetizing, absolutely awesome. And with this, we have now come to the end of the episode. And we hope to meet again in our next episode. Until then, I'll say bye-bye for now. <laughs>